we have a new update here. A remarkable story we actually did this morning on Good Morning America. A shark surprise. A woman fishing there, right off a deck in Myrtle Beach, caught a red drum, a little fish, when someone had another idea. Somebody else wanted to catch that fish. So take a look at who that someone was. A bull shark. Now listen, wait. <laughs> That's her fiance William Moore saying, "Keep reeling, keep reeling." Yeah. He's so concerned for her That's safety. Great. As you can see, captured it all on camera because everything in the world is now captured all on camera. We actually talked to the woman, Sarah Brain, this morning about her experience. Take a listen. It was crazy, it was unexpected. Honestly, kind of scared me. There was no evidence anywhere that he was lurking in the water. Perhaps the best part, though, after the shark got away, they told us they were heading right back out in the water to try to catch that guy. I love They're it. undeterred. I love, it. I love it. So we wanted to check in with them this afternoon. We Skyped with Sarah's fiance, William Moore, and her stepfather, Van Hughes, from North Myrtle Beach in the midst of the hunt. Uh, William, again, I know you told me this morning you were heading back out to get that shark. What's the progress report? Well, we've been trying to... Uh catch him but he hadn't been back home yet so <laughs> we're still waiting for him so what technique yeah well, how do you go about going in there and catching and, and catching this big shark then you need a uh, big rod and a reel a big uh, rod this reel had like 400 <laughs> yards of line on it and we used a steel leader and uh had a treble hook it was a king mackerel rig is what it was so Boy, every time that shark comes out of the water, uh, I know I'm as stunned as seeing it for the first time. Again, w William, for those uh, who didn't see it this morning, what was it like in that moment as the shark came and uh, got way too close to you two? You never expect something like that just to jump up, you know, not, not directly at you, but it, you know, it was close enough. It could have got you if it wanted to. And it, it's just, you know, it scares you. You know, any, any man say he wasn't scared, you know, he's a liar. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was definitely scared. It, you know, and with good reason. That, that you don't play around with. <laughs> with good reason. There you are on fishing off of your dock. Uh, Sarah thinks she's catching, I don't know, something sizable, but not a shark. How is she now? I mean, after she got her parents back together and after she, you know, everybody got the shock out of our system, it was. You know, we were fine then, but, uh, you know, the excitement, you know, you still can't get enough of watching the video. We watch it over and over again. So what's it like right now being essentially national heroes as you uh, go about <laughs> trying to land this sucker? As soon as we got everything calmed down and seen what it was, we went back out and we put a, a big bait out for him and, and it won't 15 minutes, he'd, he'd already eat it and took off with it. Since the story aired on Good Morning America this morning, you've been called by every media outlet. I think just shocked at seeing, you know, what seems to be a, an innocent fishing expedition off of your dock. What did you think that you and Sarah might catch? Yeah, you know, she's not reeled a red drum in, so, and so I handed her a rod and she went to reeling, and from then on, it, it just went crazy. Well, I know you guys want to get back out there and chase, well, your version of the white whale. We're going to let you do it. Van Hughes and William Moore, have fun, be safe, yes. and when you land that sucker, you come back and tell us all about it, all right? All right. All right. I know we're safe here in Times Square. I'm still scared. I, I would just say this. If ever it applied, be very careful what you wish for, guys. Very, very careful. Yeah.